Hello, it's Emmy with Studio Emmy, and I'm here to show you some tags that I made. I'm in an online group on Facebook that's called The Craft Hole, and it's comprised of people who like to make things that are are crafty of of all sorts, and the skill levels are from beginner to people who've been crafting quite a while. It's a wonderful place to go and learn how to do new things. People are so gracious to share the information that they have and show their techniques. Uh, they make YouTube videos just like I'm making this one and often do tutorials and um, it's just a really nice place to to hang out, make some friends who are interested in the same things that you are and you should really check it out if you are interested. It's called The Craft Hole and you find it on Facebook. It's a closed group and um, what you do in order to start swapping things like this, you just have to show that you can complete some tasks. You do two um, challenges before you can start swapping, and so I did that, and so now I'm, I'm able to swap with other people. They match us up, so I don't really, um, we don't pick and choose who we're going to swap with. It's done for us, and that's the way you get to meet other people. And part of the reason we're doing this tag swap throughout the year, we're going to do one each month with three tags each, and at the end of the year, we'll have a collection of tags that are from um, several of the other people in the group. And on the back, we've left space where we can write some information about them from time to time. And, and as we get to know them better, in, pre, in swaps that come up down the road, we will be able to, to kind of know what they like. And that's kind of fun, too. Well, let me show you what I've made here. The first one, I hadn't ever dyed seam binding before, so I did that here. This is I dyed this using some acrylic paint and some water. And I use the same trim on all three tags. You can see some of this trim right here. Um, put some bling along the top and along um, well, on this one. I put some here around the circle of this little doily that I had. Um, beneath the roses there's some leaves. And I'd had this, this script that says live for some time and I kind of cut it down to make it fit on this popped up little piece that I, I punched out with one of my um, my dies. So that's the first one. Now oh, I did um, hand paint, by the way, I forget to say that I did hand paint the edge to match the paper and I used some acrylic paint for that. The next one I made um, has, again, this trim and some bling. And this is a paper that has lavender on it and some sparkles. And the paper beneath it has clover, which kind of like is like a shamrock. And I thought that was appropriate because it's March. And I wanted to dress this up a little bit more. Um, I have the striped paper here. My ribbons actually end up having stripes in them, which I thought was kind of cool. I didn't plan it that way, but that's how it turned out. And I made some stick pins to kind of dress this one up too. So that's that one. And then the last one, because it is St. Patrick's Day, right around the corner here, this one definitely has a, an Irish St. Patrick's Day feel. I use the same trim and some bling down here, and at the top, I oh know, along the side here, again, I hand dyed this seam binding. And I dyed these roses as well. Uh, they were white, like over here, but I, I dyed them, excuse me, I'm out of frame. I dyed them to make them green. And the pretty woman who's on here is from the Graphics Fairy, and it's a free graphic that I found online. And um, I downloaded it. I put some lace on her to give her a little uh, blouse and some bling for the buttons. And um, a feather for her hat. I put stickles in her hair and on her tie for her bonnet. And I downloaded an old Irish blessing that you might be familiar with. Um, and I, that was a free graphic as well. So that's it. Just really wanted to show these to you so I could get them mailed out tomorrow. Thanks for watching.